Hey, soul survivors, we're going to talk about how the narcissist drains you of your energy. So I have been helping my neighbors and one of their sons had asked for some Parmesan cheese because they're having spaghetti last night. So kids like, I'll get it back to you. Don't worry about it. And it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I got it at all these. It was probably like three, four bucks. Not that big of a deal, but uh, so I give it to them and I get a text from the father and he's like, how about some pee pee before you move? So it's immature. I've told him so many times not to talk to me that way. Uh, he knows I'm not interested. And for one thing, that's not romantic. That's childlike, you know, talk. It's not even like teenage talk. Um, and so I had asked for the Parmesan cheese back and he's like, nope. And I said, please. And he's like, nope. And then he's like, I didn't ask for it. And I believe he probably didn't have the kid ask for it, or maybe the kid just did. But the thing is, is the kid's not there. And, you know, it's like such a short walk. Like, can't you just bring it back? Because I've helped out so many different times with little things around the house or eggs or giving them ice cream or soda or whatever it is that, you know, I'm pretty giving. And when you're like, can I just have that back? And it's the attitude, it's not the cheese. So I'm not that cheap, but the attitude and the entitlement. And, you know, if, if you are lucky enough to have a neighbor help your kid have Parmesan cheese for the spaghetti, so you don't have to go to the store or just so the kid's happy, just so the kid's happy. But because it wasn't about him, it was about his kid. He's like, well, text him. Well, the kid doesn't have a cell phone. So for one thing, that is not a solution for the other is he's like, you're the one that gave it to him. And I'm like, so I, I just don't get it back. And he's like, I said, I'm just shit out of luck. He's like, yep. And then uh, he's like, bye. And the point of this is it put me in such a bad mood. It's only Parmesan cheese, a couple bucks. I don't even really use it. I have it for company. But the point is, is when you're nice to somebody who is entitled or childlike, that when you know your worth, like I know I'm being kind. I know I deserve my item back. And it's the principle of it. And over time, it starts to wear at you where you're like, why am I even helping? Because let's say $3, 10 times is 30 bucks, you know, uh, do that 100 times. And that's 300 bucks. And it just keeps adding up. And, you know, I've helped out in so many different ways. And, you know, it's, it's not appreciated. Uh, I, I am the type where I'm self-sufficient to where I don't ask for those things. Um, because if I need an egg, I either go to the store or I don't make it. Um, there's nothing wrong with asking for an egg, but the point is, is there's no respect. And it's like the quickest little walk. So it's cold outside. I'm in Michigan. It snowed today, but it's even colder in the heart of somebody who is narcissistic. Can't be thankful or grateful. The attitude underlying it is what really set me off. So how do we deal with it? You know, you got to just brush it off. We got lesson learned. I'm not helping him anymore. That, you know, it sounds kind of petty, but it's not it's not about the Parmesan cheese. It's about the attitude. I don't want to enable that attitude. You know, uh, it's been a process of, you know, trying to discuss things and, you know, um, there's still the, uh, you know, trying to get sex or sexual favors or, or, or different things like that, that I'm not being treated like a lady. I'm not being treated like uh, a friend where you borrow something, you give it back. Um, you know, uh, and, and the solutions text my son who doesn't have a phone. And even if he did, I does, don't have the phone number. And it was interesting how much it set me off because over time, you know, like, I'm just so tired of this. Like, 
it, it it's draining when good people get treated that way. So if you're being treated the wrong way, whew, <laughs> it's just crazy. I, I, uh, they, they affect you. And it's interesting the different people who affect you more than others, because for one thing, most people won't say no. They'll be like, yeah, come on over or I can get it to you or I'm busy, but I can get it to you tomorrow. There's normal communication as opposed to a game. So they do like to play games. They do like to drive you crazy. Uh, he has even said that he likes to play games. I uh, was talking about an ex before where he's like, we get along better when we hate each other. And he likes the fight. I'm not doing the fight. Just an interesting insight. Parmesan cheese. Whew. <laughs> what are some things that have set you guys off? Even just the little things over time. It's like that Chinese water torture where you're like, I just can't take it anymore. 